Hey guys, welcome back. I know it's been a while since I last uploaded, but I uh, figured the best way to come back is with a uh, monthly manga haul, and I'm doing a combined July and August since I missed last month. And yeah, so I figured I'd show you guys all the cool manga I got and just to get right into it. So I'm gonna show you what I got for these last few months. So just starting off here, some of the pre-orders that came in for last month. I got Undead Unlock Volume 2. Spy Family, Volume 5. Really excited for this one. We got Mashal, Volume 1. Chainsaw Man, Volume 5. JJK, Volume uh, 10. Yeah, Volume 10. Dr. Stone, Volume 17. They released uh, Under the Air, uh, which is Osoma Tezuka work, which I've been slowly buying up, but that came out. Uh, what is this? 21st Century Boys, the just the one volume, just the one volume of 21st Century Boys. Now I have them all, and I'm super excited to get to this one. Probably my favorite thing that I got last month was Fist of the North Star, Omnibus. These are really, really nice. I think the Japanese versions are a little bit nicer because uh, you can kind of see the uh, constellation better in the logo, which I didn't even know was in there until I was looking at the Japanese covers. But yeah, here's uh, Kenshiro on the first one. Finally glad these came out in English uh, to read them. But yeah, there's that. And then last for pre-orders, I got uh, Zom 100 Volume 2. And I actually read this one, and it was pretty fun. Not as fun as the first volume, but uh, it's still enjoyable, and I'm still having fun with this one. So Zom 100. And then next, I'm going to just jump into some random single volumes that I found uh, over the course of shopping. I found a random volume of Air Gear 36 at a local used bookshop. Uh, these are getting a lot harder to come by, and I'm trying to get them... As, uh, as they as they are available because they are not easy to find plus they are going out uh, going out of stock on right stuff anyway or out of print on right stuff I should say and then I found a random volume of Mar 11 or Mare uh, I don't have all this I'm trying to finish this one it's pretty short it's 15 volumes it's like one of the first isekais I ever read fun little story here we have assassination collection volume 10 slowly getting these I got this one off uh, manga Swap, uh, because it has the original spine, but the original Viz and Shonen Jump logos, which is what I want to do for that series. I found these three, Dead Mount Death Play, uh, at a BAM, and they were doing their sale, buy two, get one free. Uh, and I've been really interested in this one, because the first one, I think, went out of print for a little bit. I don't know if it ever came back, but this first one was hard to find for a while. And I was super happy to find it. It's okay. I've, I'm still on volume three. Um, it has like an interesting premise, but it's just pretty boring, honestly. And I don't know. I'm not really in love with it. I'm probably not going to go any farther than these three. But yeah, I got those. And these were technically going on during the uh, sale, but these were like the clearance items. Uh, I found Aria, volume one, the original one and Aqua Volume 2. They were like two bucks on the clearance section for the Right Stuff sale. Uh, and the reason I got these is because I saw just random iShield 21, one of the few ones I needed left uh, back in stock. So I just got them just to tack on since they were so cheap. So now I'm just missing Volume 26 and I'll have all of iShield 21. And that, that was all the uh, random little stuff that I got uh, randomly that weren't on sale or anything. Speaking of random little stuff, I actually forgot I got, I found uh, Rose Hip Rose and Rose Hip Zero, uh, one through five and one through four. Uh, I think I bought, I don't remember, some of them I got off eBay, some of them I got off Mercari, but here's all of them. This is the prequel series, Rose Hip Zero. I'm gonna show the covers. And then it's volume five. Oh no, it's volume four. And then volume five, 
and then point one, two, this one's still sealed actually, three and four. I think a couple of these were on, oh, these are all sealed too. Uh, right stuff for their sale in the clearance section and then some I found elsewhere. Uh, same creator of GTO and I wanted to check it out because I know these are gonna, people are just trying to find GTO like crazy on Instagram and other places so I wanted to get these in case they shot up in value. So I got all of Rose Hip Rose and all of Rose Hip Zero just randomly. Moving on to some Right Stuff sales. This is pretty much the bulk of uh, August's haul anyway and some of July but I got Inuyashiki uh, 1 through 9. 10 was out of stock and it wasn't part of the sale but I got 1 through freaking 9 and I actually read this one and I was really really excited for this guys but I'm not gonna lie this was very underwhelming the story is I don't want to get into it because I do want to talk about it later but the story just is really kind of boring honestly like the concept is uh, these two guys, this kid and this old guy, basically die, and uh, by a meteorite, and aliens put them back together, and they have like robot bodies, and they can fly around, and they basically become superheroes. And the old guy wants to do good, and the young kid wants to do bad things, and so there's like real conflict and real like tension there, but they just never do much with it. I was pretty disappointed. I know it's pretty popular, but yeah, here's all the volumes that I got minus volume ten. Cause it's only it's pretty short it's only a 10 volume series but i was pretty underwhelmed with this it wasn't bad by any means but there's a lot of really not great things like the story the pace not the story but the pacing some of the dialogue's really bad uh characters make really bad decisions i don't know wasn't a big fan but i was happy to finally read it and i got this during the sale so that was cool Here's another series I've been excited to get, and this was on sale. I was hoping it went on sale, and it did. And this is High Score Girl, uh, one through six. Um, I know the Anime Man talked uh, really highly of it. It has a pretty good Mal rating. It's like eight something on Mal, and I've been excited to get to this one. I haven't read this one yet. Uh, probably might wait till all the volumes come out. I think it's like a ten volume series as well. Um, but as of the sale, there was only six available. I think seven's out. I think eight's coming out soon. But here they are. They're pretty cool color uh, covers. They're nice colors, and I know uh, Elite Collector loves his purple covers, so this is for him. So I'm excited to get to this one. I've heard great things. Um, not a lot of any manga accounts on Instagram talking about it, which I'm surprised. So I'm excited to read it and have my own opinion, and maybe even talk about it here. But yeah, I got High Girl Girl one through six. And the last uh, kind of bundle, not really bundle, but big sale I got, they had a bunch of Osama Tezuka books, um, or a few, like Ayako, which I got, uh, MW, which I got, and then Solo Leveling, uh, the man Manhua was on sale, the uh, full color edition. This is heavy, if, if you guys haven't seen anyone talk about it, these are, actually, this one's really heavy uh, compared to normal, and it's all in color. I haven't read it yet. I only kept bought one because I don't know if I'm gonna like it. Uh, so I'm gonna check it out. I heard good things. And uh, yeah, so that was, those were the big bundles and big series sale, uh, series I got that were on sale for uh, the Right Stuff birthday sale. Oh yeah, and I just found uh, Astro Boy Omnibus that I got at, I think, uh, bam. I think I got it when I got the uh, Dead Mount Death Play, but random Omnibus that I just keep happening to find, which is pretty cool since they're getting harder and harder to find, but this is Omnibus 3. Speaking of Omnibus and Right Stuff birthday sale, I, th I think I said the other thing was the last, but I'm pretty sure this is the last two books I got during the sale, and it's Shaman King, Omnibus 1 through 3, and Omnibus 7 through 9. Uh, I bought one and two, or Omnibus 1 and 2 together. This one got damaged, or not this one, but this volume Omnibus 1 got damaged, so I ended back, and I wanted it just a replacement, but they just refunded me, so when it was on sale, I just picked it up. And then this was in stock, so I got them both anyway. I think number two is actually out of stock, which was lucky since I already have that one. But yeah, I'm excited to get into this one. I might buy some more. Uh, I actually haven't read Shaman King that much. My brother's really into it, and so I'm getting the Omnibus because I like the cool, I like the newer updated covers. Wish they were singles, but uh, whatever. At least the page stock is just as good, if not, you know, better. I doubt it's better, but it's just as good. Uh, and I really liked. Um, the Omnibus Collector's like detailed review on it so I was like okay definitely gonna stick with the Omnibuses for this one but yeah I'm probably not gonna buy any more I have nine volumes worth to check out before I might hate it I don't want to keep buying it if I hate it but yeah there's these two 
and then there's the connecting spine. So the next handful series, or books I should say, there's, there are different series. The, Hicks, the next handful of manga I got is at a flea market. Um, and they were a little expensive for being at a flea market and kind of how they were stored. But uh, I bought a bunch so the, the guy went down in price a little bit. So a couple things that I got were D. Gray Man, volume 14 and volume 16 which is pretty cool. I'm slowly whittling these down. I'm trying to get them all. I know 17 and 18 are pretty hard to get, uh, so if I don't get those for a while, it's fine. But I'm trying to get the rest of them so I can, you know, have them. Um, I found, which is pretty cool, Aria, volume th two and three. Uh, and again, these are the single Tokyo Pop ones. Um, I forget which manga, or not manga tuber, but there's an Instagram account, and I don't want to say who it is in case I get it wrong, but there's one who really, really likes it. I think it's Mangaporium, I wanna say, but I, I could be wrong on that one, but he it's one of his favorite, one of the, one of the Instagram accounts, his uh, favorite uh, series of all time. So, slowly been finding them just randomly. Um, but yeah, sucks. This one, volume three, had like a gra, it was, it was like, like graphite or a pencil type thing stain on it. I couldn't get it out. I tried using a eraser and it kind of worked, but it's not the best. If anyone knows how to clear that up, That'd be great. Oh, Goo Gone didn't work. Uh, I think I used like uh, alcohol wipe or like uh, I see probable alcohol didn't work. The eraser worked the best, but yeah. So I'm excited to get into these three volumes. I think it's pretty fair. Um, if I hate it, whatever, sell it. But yeah, I got those two. I found this, which was really cool. The gold foiling of uh, One Piece. They had a couple, but they were in worse condition and. Um, again, the guy wanted a little too much, so this was the best condition one, and I didn't want to go too crazy with the price. It was actually like eight bucks a piece, which, I mean, for this it's fine because you, you can't really get these anymore. Same with these, but like for some of the next ones I'm going to show you is a little expensive. But yeah, there's that. There's these, and then one of the big series I got, and I, I don't know how I'm going to show it all because I have like 18 or 19. I got a bunch of Naruto Shippuden um, and I don't know if they're in order or not but it's like 18 or 19 volumes uh, all first print which is pretty cool I know they've been reprinting Naruto with the uh, newer logos but these are all the old logos uh, and I can't show you because I've cleaned them already but they had this like glue they had like sticker residue and glue and then there's kind of some dents and dinks um, to them so they're definitely secondhand and used and Eight bucks a piece is a lot, but because I got so much, like I said, he discounted it. But yeah, here's a whole bunch of Naruto, ship it in, and that takes a dent out of the ones I need. I think the only one, because uh, he had them pretty consecutively up to 50, and then some random ones after 50, but he didn't have 41, so that was like the only ones I'm missing, and I had like 31 and 35 or something, or 40 uh, already, so I didn't buy those, I didn't need those. But yeah, so a bunch of Naruto, love this cover. Let me find one of the other covers that I really liked. Uh, 35 is really cool because there's just a lot going on. 47 is really great. 46 is also really great. Surprisingly, because I've... Actually, this is probably my favorite one. Read through the volumes I read online. But Naruto has some great covers. And because I was reading in Shonen Jump as well, I wasn't really buying them uh, versus other series since I was reading it monthly back in the day. But yeah, I'm finally glad to have a bunch of these. Still like 20 more to go. Uh, and I'll get them eventually, but yeah, this was a really good deal, and because they had the old printing, and as you saw, for some of them, they have the sticker on these, which I really, really like. I just think that's cool. I know, like, some people don't like stickers and stuff, but I don't know. I think that's kind of cool. Just whatever. That's just me. But yeah, so I got these, which was pretty cool, and then the next series I will show you guys is really, really exciting, because it's one of the outer prints. All right, so the next series I got from the flea market, or the big series, I say, uh, is Rave Master, and I got uh, 19 through like 26, I think. Here's 26 and 24, and then here's 19, uh, 23, 25, 20, 22, 27. So it looks like I was just missed. Yeah, 27. So that's cool. Um, or was there 21? I might be missing 21. Yeah, I think I was missing 21. Uh, he had like another earlier one, but again, he he wanted a lot, and you can kind of see on this one, a lot of them have these like sticker uh, glue -y residue to them 
and the only the rave masters and the Naruto's had them I cleaned it off on here so you can't really tell uh, that it ever had sticker and glue residue but I don't know I, I was I, I knew I could clean it so that wasn't too big a deal it's just annoying you know, how much he wanted it for when they're not even really in great shape I mean these are harder to get so I understand but I didn't don't think he knew they were actually worth a decent amount because uh, like I said this one's like pretty dirty yeah you can really see so yeah but I, I was willing to clean them up and pay a little extra for these uh, and I did work out a little bit of a deal. So yeah, these were really cool. Super glad to find these. I know these get like harder and harder to get the later the volume. So happy to get these. And yeah, there's that. So that's pretty much all I got. There is uh, a couple more books that I want to show off at the end because these are probably the best things I found. And I found them pretty early on in July. Um, so I'll start with this one. I got Samurai Executioner Omnibus Volume 2. I think there's four of these in total. I forget how many are. This was just retail price, so that was cool. These were all retail price, but um, this one is not as hard to find as the other ones. Uh, hopefully, I want the singles because I like I like the singles, but these are a little, I don't want to say easier to find, but um, I'm not sure. I, I don't know which one I want yet. I like, I, I found this one and I might stick with it because I'll show you what I got next. It's flavorful. So there's Samurai Executioner Volume 2 and then Lone Wolf and Cuff Omnibus 10. 11 and 12 just chilling all in the same store for retail which was super super exciting because these are insanely rare to get I don't know why they're so hard to find anything after like eight is pretty hard to find it with these being increasingly rare as they go so I might just stick with the omnibuses because I have the harder ones now I originally did want the singles like I was saying but I don't know I, I have most I think I have omnibus one and then I have these so I'm like a third of the way there I might just stick with omnibuses when I can, uh, but we'll see. So these were really cool, really exciting. I'm glad I got these. I love these covers, I th which I think is kind of weird. I think volume two it has this cover. Uh, it's a little weird why it's on 12. But yeah, so Lone Wolf and Colonies was super happy to find these, and that's pretty much the haul, guys. I'd love to hear what you guys uh, think of it. I know it's combined. I mean, it's a lot. It's combined two months, and then the right stuff stale, really birthday sale, really, you know, added on to that, but. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys have been reading. I'm sorry it's been gone. I'm going to try and get better, but I don't want to promise anything because I break my promise. Uh, but yeah, thanks for guys watching. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace out.